Hey all, welcome to Pikers Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna check in with Sam from Windsor High School in Western Sydney, Australia, where they're doing some amazing things and teaching the next generation about marine and freshwater fish and corals. So a little while ago, I was uh, just perusing uh, Facebook and the marine pages as I um, quite often do, and I came across this post here, um, which was showing a, a fairly modest tank at a um, school where the teacher just recently upgraded the light to a um, fairly expensive um, reef-capable light. And um, uh, the, the fellow there, Samuel, was asking if anyone in Western Sydney had um, any sort of uh, cheap uh, basic corals that he'd be able to stock this tank with to show the kids just how corals grow and how the fish interact with them or whatnot. And um, it, this absolutely struck a chord with me. Um, it's exactly the sort of thing I like to get behind. So considering the school was from Western Sydney um, and I know a great bunch of guys out of Bespoke Aquariums in Western Sydney, I um, reached out to Eric and Colin and said, uh, what can we do if I put some money in? Are you guys able to look after me on price? And can we put together um, an incredible pack of corals that'll get this um, school tank absolutely pimped out? And um, yeah, the guys at Bespoke never disappoint and um, this was no exemption. Um, Eric uh, put together a great little selection of corals and even some of the staff and local reefers there even contributed some of their own corals for free and um, were able to get this tank up and running. But um, now that the corals are in the tank, let's check in with Sam and see how things are going. Hi guys, uh, my name's Sam Philp. I'm a teacher here at Windsor High School uh, in Western Sydney. Uh, I teach science, uh, biology and marine studies. They're my three subject areas. Um, and I'm just going to take you for a quick tour about what's going on here uh, and some of the saltwater stuff that we've got going on here. So my background's actually in marine biology, uh, specifically fish ecology. Um, I did my bachelor's and honours um, at uni and then I actually retrained into teaching about four years ago. Um, so as soon as I arrived, I wanted to get this subject up and running for the kids. Um, you know, bring all the stuff that I'd learned at university and everything I enjoyed about it to school. So that's what I've done. Uh, and I've been lucky enough to have a really supportive principal um, here at Windsor, just to kind of, um, you know, get the ball rolling, I guess you could say. So we give the students here a chance to do uh, marine studies in year nine and uh, year 10 as an elective. It's called Marine and Aquaculture Technology. Um, and we have to do a variety of modules across all different types of environments and different um, topic areas. Um, and one of the topics is um, aquarium maintenance, uh, construction design, and that whole, whole kind of thing. So you can see behind me, uh, we have a whole variety of uh, different tanks. This is our tank room that we've got set up. Um, so, as you can see there, uh, there's some planter tanks, the tropical tanks, there's tanks with yabbies, and we've got some smaller koi in some of our tanks. Um, but the kids have to do everything that comes with maintaining these tanks. So that's, you know, water changes and water testing and, and learning about the nitrogen cycle and all those type of things in these tanks. Um, and I have set up a, a saltwater tank, uh, and that's the reason why I'm doing this video for you guys, a saltwater tank. Um, for you guys to see what we're doing here um, and then also for me to use as I guess a teaching tool and you know a, a point of conversation. So um, I'll take you through to the classroom or to the the lab um, and then I'll, I'll show you the marine tank quickly and then we'll go from there. So it's just a normal normal science lab. Um, I've got my little goldfish tank I've had that since the beginning uh, and then I've got my marine tank here that's set up uh, just in the classroom. So it's just a stock standard um, Aqua One um, Nano Reef 35, so a 35 litre with the stock standard Aqua One skimmer and return pump. I've upgraded the lights to an, an AI Prime. Um, the tank itself I bought second hand, um, which I was going to set up at home, but I thought let's set it up in the classroom and get a bit of interest. So. It's been set up now since last term, so it's going on about three months. Um, the livestock in there, we've got two, two clowns. We've got a pair of Ocellaris clowns. So we have obviously the orange and white and the black and white up there. Um, 
And in terms of the coral, this has only been put in recently. Um, the community really came together on this one and, and helped us out with a, with a number of corals. So um, Sam Parker himself did actually put um, a fair chunk of money towards this to get it filled with coral um, because obviously this has come straight out of my pocket so I couldn't really afford to completely fill it. So um, it's got, I think about three or four corals from Sam. We've got a nice um, purple, uh, you know, white tip torch there. I think it's five or six heads. A nice um, green goniopora, which has just started to um, open up a little bit. Um, I've got a soft coral in here, which I've had for a while. That guy's doing quite well. He's just kind of sitting on the side at the moment. Um, and then from a whole variety of different um, local reefers um, throughout Western Sydney have actually donated some corals to the school. So um, we've got a fantastic range here of some zoas. Um, we've got some nice ones there. Um, the ones at the back haven't quite opened yet. They're, they're getting there, I can't quite focus. Um, and then we've got an Acan frag there. We've got a pink tip elegance. The, um, the camera definitely doesn't do it justice. Um, and around the back, just until I get it all glued in, we've got some, um, I think it's clove polyp, um, blue clove polyp on a frag there. Um, we come around the other side just to start. I've got um, an orange uh, rhodactus and a, another mushroom over there, a nice metallic blue with um, orange, orange dots on it. So I don't know all that much about coral. Um, I've got my own tank set up at home, but all these have been donated to fill this tank. Uh, we've got a cleanup crew in there as well. You know, uh, Nasaris and Strombus and Trochus snails doing their work. Uh, but that's kind of the livestock there, um, all up. It's kind of been um, uh, an awesome project for me to set up uh, and to engage the kids. Um, and everyone's just been really supportive and have really helped out with the setup. Um, when it was first set up, Coastal Clownfish sent us the pair of the clowns. Um, the, the kids at school did decide on a name. They went with um, D, so D double E, and the other one is called A, so A Y E. So together they are DNA, um, which I think is a fantastic science and a biology joke. So that was awesome. Um, and obviously, once again, Sam Parker, the boys at Bespoke Aquarium, um, hooked us up with some of this as well. Um, and the local reefers, uh, Darushi, David, Chris, uh, and I've got some frags from home in here from myself as well. Thank you so much for sending stuff. They're all doing really well. Um, I said I'd keep them updated, so um, hopefully this is all right for now. Obviously, they've only been in a couple of days, these corals, so um, I will be gluing them to their spots, and hopefully I'll do a video later on where you can kind of see them you know, all together and, and kind of mounted on their rock uh, where I want them. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the tank. Now, in terms of, of how I use this, I guess, as a, as a classroom teacher, um, this is only a, you know, a really small tank in the scheme of things. I know some schools are doing, doing massive things and have got huge tanks or they live close to the beach so they can actually just, you know, set up saltwater tanks and go down for water changes. But it's a little bit different here in Western Sydney. So uh, everything I have to haul back and forth um, and from my, um, my reef at home as well. So um, it's been great to set up. And I use this in, in class um, to not only help, um, you know, engage the kids and, and try to get, you know, their interest and, and appreciation for coral and, and obviously the Great Barrier Reef as well. So that's a, that's a fantastic thing to help engage the kids. Um, and then obviously you can use it for all types of different science and chemistry as well. You can teach uh, symbiotic relationships and things about chemistry um, the nitrogen cycle, um, you know, all about um, photosynthetic organisms and things like that. So it's, it's a great tool in the classroom. I love using it um, and it's just, it's nice to have in there and it keeps the kids pretty relaxed as well, which is always handy. So um, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, just a big shout out to, to everyone again. Thank you so much. Um, and I can't wait to see where this, where this progresses and, and maybe in the future get some of the kids to, um, to do all the saltwater tanks themselves and get them set up and get this room full. So that would be, yeah, that would be unreal. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Please, if you have any comments uh, or questions or anything, please drop them um, in the link below or contact Sam Parker or myself. 
So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers. All right, guys, that's all we got for today. Um, I'd like to thank Sam for making that uh, video to show on this um, on this YouTube channel because uh, as we know, today's school kids are tomorrow's reef advocates and. Um, I'd like to think that when I'm uh, 85 and sitting in my nursing home, I'll be able to uh, see some more, well, it won't be David Attenborough unless he's a robot by then, but see some more documentaries and some more footage and hear that the reef is thriving, not uh, bleaching and dying. So, um, yeah, kudos to you, my man, for uh, taking the initiative to make this happen at your school. Hopefully, you'll um, pave a bit of a pathway for other schools to get involved with as well. Um, just before I sign off, I'd like to give a big shout out to um, Eric and Colin at Bespoke for uh, helping me out and making this possible with Sam and um, obviously the uh, swarm of local reefers there who uh, reached into their own tank and made this happen as well. It uh, really means a lot to me guys, so thank you. Um, anyone else out there that has uh, any nice little uh, projects like this where they're getting um, communities or uh, school kids or uh, anything like that involved in uh, reef knowledge and preservation, I'd be super keen to hear about it. But um, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.